Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome to Finitainment Methods. So let us learn the Rallylids method with different trial functions. So what if I take a trial function as a constant, as a linear, as a quadratic, as a cubic, I can take any trial function, right? So what are the different trial functions we can put it in the Rallylids method and what are the solutions we will get from that? Meaning what is the minimum order required for the trial function? Let us solve it right now. Let us take a problem. Deformation of an axially loaded bar with different trial functions using Rallylids method. So here you can see this is a simple bar and in which left hand is completely fixed and we are having a force here. F is nothing but alpha times x. The span of the beam is L. Now the differential equation for this, already we have derived this one in the previous classes. So the differential equation for this bar is given as AE d square u by dx square plus alpha x is equal to 0. Where this alpha x is nothing but f equal to 0 with essential boundary conditions u of 0 is equal to 0. So what is the exact solution for this equation? Can we find out the exact solution? Obviously we can. So what is the nature of this differential equation? So it is a second order ordinary differential equation right so it is given as ea d square u by dx square plus alpha x is equal to 0 so now d square u by dx square is nothing but minus alpha x by ea it is pretty straightforward just do integration now on integrating once so if you integrate this one once it will be du by dx is nothing but minus alpha x square by 2 ea plus c1 now integrating again you will get u is equal to minus alpha x cube by 6 ea plus c1 x plus c2 so this is the solution how many constants we need to find out we need to find out c1 and c2 so for that how many conditions we need we need two boundary conditions already we have denoted one boundary condition here what is that u of 0 is equal to 0 that is at the left end we are having the displacement as 0 so what about the right hand what can we comment about the right end so the boundary condition on the right end we can write it as ea du by dx at x is equal to l is nothing but 0. So what is this? What is this term entirely indicate? It indicate the force. It indicate the force. Force at x is equal to l. We don't have any load here. That's why the force is 0 there. So that force can be indicated as e a du by dx at x is equal to l is equal to 0. So now we are having two boundary conditions with two unknown c1 and c2. Let's find them. So the right end, the force is 0 that we have said just now that is ea du by dx at x is equal to l is 0 ea into what is du by dx so this is u now by substituting the essential boundary condition u of 0 is equal to 0 that will give you c2 as 0 so the u will be minus alpha x cube by 6 ea plus c1x we need to find out this constant c1 this we can find out using this Neumann boundary condition that is given as ea into so now differentiate this one with respect to x once that will give you minus it will be 3 alpha x square by 6 ea so since we are having 3 here on the numerator 3 ones 3 twos it will be minus alpha x square by 2 ea plus c1 ea du by dx at x is equal to l that is in the place of x substitute l equal to 0 this will give you c1 is equal to alpha l square by 2 ea then the displacement is given as, so this is the displacement we want. The displacement is given as minus alpha x cube by 6 ea plus c1 as alpha l square by 2 ea into x. This is the displacement. So see the displacement? Displacement is cubic. Remember this. Displacement is cubic. We need to get a similar solution by solving the radiates also. Here displacement is cubic. And what about the strain? Strain is nothing but du by dx. So that just differentiate this one with respect to x once. That will give you minus alpha x squared by 2 ea plus alpha l squared by 2 ea. That is the strain. So what is stress? Stress is nothing but e times epsilon. If you assume our, our material, we are dealing all elastic materials. If you assume your linear elastic case, then isotropic also. It will be e times epsilon. That is nothing but minus alpha x squared by 2 ea plus alpha l squared by 2 ea nothing but alpha by 2a into l square minus x square this is my stress so stress is quadratic displacement is cubic stress is quadratic 
and the displacement at, at x is equal to l that is at the free end what is the displacement that is put x is equal to l in the displacement so what is the displacement here this is the displacement put x is equal to l here then we will get the displacement at the right hand side at x is equal to l if you substitute then you will get alpha l cube by 3 here this is my displacement at x is equal to l we have to get the similar solution okay so now we are having our exact solution in our hand this is the exact solution we have to get a similar solution in through rally reads also so let us solve the same example using rally reads using different polynomial trial functions of different orders okay so let us take polynomial of zero degree first so that is if i assume my trial function as a constant trial function u tilde is equal to a naught let's say so what if i substitute u tilde is equal to a naught in the differential equation that is for u tilde to satisfy the essential boundary condition what is the prerequisite for the relatives whatever the trial function we assume that has to be kinematically admissible that is it has to satisfy the essential boundary conditions so if this trial function has to satisfy the essential boundary condition that is u tilde of 0 is equal to 0 that will make us a naught as 0 which is a trivial solution that is we don't have any solution at all which is a trivial solution 0 is not the solution we need some other thing so this is written and now this is not useful polynomial of zero degree is not useful now let us go to polynomial of first degree so let us take u tilde is equal to a naught plus a one x now it has to satisfy the essential boundary condition that is u tilde of zero is zero so if you put x is equal to zero here it will be a naught is equal to zero this is through essential boundary condition so u tilde is given as a1x now so now what is du tilde by dx nothing but a1 so now what is pi p what is the potential for the given problem for the given problem the potential is given as 1 by 2 integral 0 to l ea du by dx whole square into dx minus integral 0 to l this is f f times u tilde into dx so what is this this is the strain energy this is work potential so in this strain energy now substitute this du tilde by dx so what is du tilde by dx nothing but a1 so just substitute a1 here it will be ea into a1 square into dx minus integral 0 to l this is alpha x into what is u tilde u tilde is nothing but a1x so substitute a1x here now we will get ea by 2 into this is a1 square into so here there is no x remaining so it will be like 1 so if you integrate that one you will get l so it is a by 2 a1 square into l minus this is alpha a1 or constants just keep them outside just drag them outside the integral alpha and a1 so the remaining thing is x into x nothing but x square integrate that it will be x cube by 3 substitute the boundary conditions substitute the limits that is capital L and 0 you will get l cube by 3 so from this expression this is nothing but pi p so what we need to do for a1 we need to differentiate this pi p with respect to a1 so if you differentiate this pi p with respect to a1 what we will get here it is a1 square so if you differentiate this with respect to a1 it will be 2a1 here it is a1 then it will be 1 so it will be a by 2 into 2a1 into l minus alpha l cube by 3 ea a1 into l minus alpha l cube by 3 equal to 0 so from this what we will get we will get a1 as alpha l squared by 3 so the solution is given as u tilde is nothing but a1 x that is the solution so this is a1 alpha l squared by 3 a into x so u tilde at x is equal to l is given as alpha l cube by 3 a and the strain is given as alpha we have to differentiate this one with respect to x that is alpha l squared by 3 a now the stress is given as e times epsilon that is e times alpha l squared by 3 a nothing but sigma is alpha l squared by 3a this e and e will go off okay so the thing is here the important thing is see this u tilde term the solution we got is a linear one but the actual solution is see the actual solution that is a cubic one but we got a linear one so the stress will become a constant here but the stress is quadratic so this trial function is not a good approximation obviously the above solution is not accurate because the displacement is cubic and the stress is parabolic in the exact solution but here the stress is constant so obviously it's not a good solution so that's why let's increase one more degree 
polynomial of second degree. Now u tilde is given as a0 plus a1x plus a2x square. So now again make it kinematically admissible that is substitute the essential boundary condition here that is u tilde of 0 if you substitute 0 here it will be a0 nothing but 0. Now du tilde by dx is nothing but a1 plus 2a2x. Now what is pi p now again what is the potential energy half integral 0 to l ea du by dx whole square nothing but a1 plus 2a2x whole square into dx minus integral f nothing but alpha x multiplied by u. What is u? u is nothing but what is u? u is nothing but a1x plus a2x square. So that is substituted here. Now this is our pi p. Expand. So if you expand the first term, what is the first term? a1 plus 2a2x square. So it will be a1 square plus 4a2 square x square plus 4a1a2x into dx minus what is the second term? The second term is given as f times u. So it is alpha is constant, a1, a2 are constants. So it will be in the first term here x square we will get here x cube. This is x into x square, nothing but x cube. Differentiate this pi p with respect to the variable a1. Then do pi p by do a1, nothing but ea by 2, ea is a constant. If we assume ea is a constant. So ea by 2 into integral 0 to l. So differentiating with this with respect to a1, it will be 2a1. So this is with respect to a2, this will be 0. Now again this with respect to a1 it will be 4a2x into dx minus in the second term again differentiating with respect to a1 it will be alpha x square this is not there it will be alpha x square over the domain 0 to l into dx. So now integrate this entire expression. So it is a by 2 if you integrate this one it will be 2a1x 0 to l so it will be 2a1l plus this is 4a2 x square by 2 nothing but 4a2 into l square by 2 minus this is alpha x cube by 3 is alpha l cube by 3 equal to 0. So now just if you simplify it further it will be e a 2 a 1 into l where 2 2 will go off here and again this is 2 so this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled out. So the remaining thing is e a a 1 l plus again e a a 2 l square minus alpha l cube by 3 equal to 0. This is my first expression. So now we are having second variable here that is dou pi p by dou a2 nothing but ea by 2 into integral 0 to l. If you differentiate this one with respect to a2 this is 0. This is 8 a2 x square 8 a2 x square. This is 4 a1 x 4 a1 x minus this one is alpha x cube nothing but alpha x power 4 by 4 nothing but alpha l power 4 by 4 equal to 0. So now if you integrate this one, so integrating the first term it will be 8a2 into x cube by 3 nothing but l cube by 3 plus 4a1 into x square by 2 nothing but l square by 2. So what we will get is if you simplify it further 4 by 3 ea l cube into a2 plus ea into l square a1 minus alpha l power 4 by 4 equal to 0. This is my second expression. So we are having two expressions in terms of a1 and a2. So the first expression is this one and the second expression is this one. If we solve these two equations then we will get a1 is equal to 7 alpha l square by 12 ea and a2 is equal to minus alpha l by 4 ea. With this a1 and a2 the solution is given as 7 alpha l square by 12 ea into x a1x minus a2 alpha l by 4 ea into x square. So this is my final solution which is parabolic which is quadratic right see the highest power x square. So we are nearing to the exact solution it is x square. So if the displacement is parabolic what will be the stress? Stress will be linear. So if we able to achieve a cubic displacement function then we are near to the we are having the exact solution that is even this quadratic also is not sufficient to get the exact solution for this problem we need to go for polynomial of third degree so it will be more clumsy you will get more terms so we need to differentiate the pi p with respect to a1 a2 a3 we will get three simultaneous equations we need to solve for a1 a2 a3 then the final resulting solution will be the displacement will be cubic and the stress will be quadratic which is the exact solution we want.
So that is why for this problem, polynomial of third degree will give us the exact solution. So I have mentioned that one here. This will give a cubic displacement and parabolic stress, which is same as an exact solution. So that is why we need to be very careful in choosing the trial functions. Whether they are giving the exact solutions or not, we need to we need to be able to justify our solutions with the exact solutions always. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Akira. Subscribe to Akira.